Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some pretty big things to go over. We have new updates for Worlds 2024. We also have some new rumors for Worlds 2024, some new events that have been revealed as well. There's a lot of things to break down and take a look at today. So if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment. What are your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video? Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we're going to go over the actual Worlds updates that are legit. Then we're going to go over some events and then some rumors as well about Worlds 2024. That's kind of the layers to today's video. But anyway, starting things off, we have Cerebi here tweeting out saying, Cerebi update, a special World Championships promo card is to be given at various local and online retailers, including the Pokemon Center online store from the 2nd of August through to the 18th of August. So um, this is the card here. It's got Pikachu and Mew. It's, it's just a, a unique World Championships 2024 card. Uh, they'll be doing it on the Pokemon Center online. So obviously if you're in the UK uh, or, or if you're in America, I think there's I think Australia is getting a Pokemon Center as well. And then obviously the Japanese one as well. Uh, you'll be able to order something online and then they'll probably just release like a code. And then when you put the code in at checkout, you'll be able to get this card as well. So yeah, looks like a really cool card. I'm really looking forward to getting this. But you can also get it locally, I'm assuming, at World Championships. And then also different retailers uh, as well. But either way, that's the new card that's going to be available for... Uh, Worlds 2024 this year. Uh, we also have some other merch that is going to be uh, kind of that's being revealed uh, and, and also has been revealed, but obviously there's going to be other stuff in, in the future. Uh, but we have Cerebi here tweeting out saying, Cerebi update, Pokemon World Championships merchandise and plush have been officially revealed ahead of the event next month. Uh, so we obviously have like a Pikachu plushie down here. Uh, we have some... I don't know what these are, like some playmats or something. There's like a little ukulele as well. Uh, this looks like a bib or something. Uh, we have Riolu here with a little snorkel, a little camera thing. That looks really cool. We've got a zoom reel over here. And then we also have this backpack, a, a playmat here, and I guess just some TCG stuff. And this is only at Worlds as well. So you're going to be able to get this at Worlds. Obviously, you have to kind of book a slot to get into the Pokemon Center at Worlds and stuff. Again, those queues look crazy at past events. So I can only assume it's going to be the same this time. So if you are going to uh, Worlds this year, uh, and you haven't booked a slot, make sure to do it, because otherwise, you're going to be queuing up for a very long time and might not even get in. So, those are the official updates regarding Pokemon Worlds with the TCG and the merch. Um, moving on, we do have uh, some new events that have been revealed for Pokemon Go. So, we have Cerebi here tweeting out, saying, Cerebi update, the Pokemon Go Adventure Week Taken Over event has been announced. It runs from the 8th of August through to the 12th of August, and it also adds Shadow Cresselia into the game so let's go over a little bit more information about this uh this event for pokemon go so adventure week taking over august the 8th through to the 12th of august and then you can save shadow cresselia so a new special research story will be available at the beginning of this event progress through it to receive a super rocket radar and chase down giovanni you can claim the special research until the end of pokemon go shared skies on september the 3rd 2024 and obviously you get Shadow Cresselia from it. And then Shadow Lugia as well. So uh, Shadow Lugia returning to Pokemon Go Shadow Raids. Uh, it's obviously a bit like the weekend, stuff like that. Uh, there's going to be some event bonuses. So Team Go Rocket will appear more frequently at Pokestops and in Balloons. And you can also use a Charge TM to help a Shadow Pokemon forget the Charge Attack Frustration. So obviously very, very useful if you do have some really good IV Shadow Mons that you do want to get rid of Frustration. You'll be able to do it during this event. I think it's like every three months or something like that. Uh, but yeah, th this event is very very sought after just because like i say a lot of people have loads of shadow mons uh, that they do want to uh, get rid of frustration because obviously shadow mons have much higher attack than your normal pokemon version uh, and then obviously shadow pokemon so pokemon go rocket grunts uh, and their leaders we're going to be using different shadow pokemon so you can get shadow timber tortuga and archon and they can also be shiny as well. And then in Shadow Raids, you're going to be seeing Shadow Mareep, Wooper, Kranidos, and Shieldon. And then the three star raids, you're going to see Shadow Nuzloth, uh, Nuzloth, Nuzleaf, Manectric, and Vibrava. And then Field, uh, field Research Tash Rewards. Apparently, I can't speak today. Mysterious Components, Charge TMs, and Fast TMs. Stop sh uh, Pokestop showcases, stuff at the web store, event bundles, everything like that. So, yeah, a really cool event because, like I say, you're going to be able to uh, get rid of the, the charge TM uh, or the charge move frustration on all of your shadow Pokemon. So, uh, that's that. Moving on, we do have a new event rumor to go over for, like, worlds and stuff because... They kind of like posted this on 4chan, but then there's also like this um, pace bin as well with a lot more information. So it did originally, like I say, get posted on 4chan. So obviously take it with a massive grain of salt, but they've got like images and stuff as well, which is always nice to see because I guess it 
it makes it a tiny bit more legit than your usual kind of image and stuff. Um, but this is like a, a Volcarona mystery gift that apparently we're going to be getting uh, in celebration at Worlds 2024. It's going to be a Volcarona uh, with the Water Terror type. It's going to have the safety goggles, flame body ability, bug buzz protect, rage powder, and will-o'-wisp. So like I say, if, if this gets announced at any time in the near future, this uh, route... Because usually the event... Usually the mystery gift is announced earlier than, like the event that it's going to be kind of getting distributed at and stuff that's usually the case so if this happens then this is probably going to get revealed like maybe even next week or something so if we do get a volcarona mystery gift announced you probably bet that the rest of it is true so either way uh it was posted by anonymous on the 27th of july it's titled august pokemon presents um and like i said that, that's that's on 4chan so as always take it with a grain of salt but the, there's kind of a lot of information to break down here regarding this uh this pokemon present so um starting things off they do say <clears throat> event background the next pokemon presents will be on the 15th of august uh which is a thursday at 9 a.m in japan 8 p.m in new york premiered at the pokemon world championship show floor in uh Onalua, hawaii so Hawaii, I, I don't know the time difference for, for, for me and Hawaii is, I think it's like one of the uh, later places in the world where obviously, you know, right now for me, it's going to be very, very early in the morning that I'm recording this. So, um, yeah, if, if the presents did get aired at, um, at Hawaii, yeah, it's going to be a, a time all over the place. Like I say, 9 a.m. in Japan, 8 p.m. in New York. Be a really weird time for a Pokemon Presents, but obviously it'd have to coincide with the uh, with the world champion, with, with Worlds because... Last year, when we had the, um, the the Blueberry Academy Indigo Disc kind of closing ceremony trailer, that was at like 9 a.m. in the morning for me. So that was like 4 a.m. for America and stuff like that. Uh, and that's just to obviously coincide with um, the actual uh, location and stuff. Because obviously, they're not going to be doing it at 4 a.m. in their location of Worlds. It just makes no sense. So that's apparently when the next Presents is going to be. Which, again, a lot of people are saying it's going to be next week. But this is talking about it actually being at Worlds. So uh, it's not replacing the opening ceremony being held the next day before play officially begins there will also be small announcements made during both of the ceremonies so this is going to be yeah like i say you're going to get the presents and then worlds and there's also going to be some small announcements and stuff so ishihara's pokemon presents statement so asking for patience with upcoming releases for all things pokemon they are now taking their time to ensure quality um i don't think that is something they would say at a pokemon presents personally um, I think that would just be something they try and avoid. Like, they know that Scarlet and Violet wasn't as good as it could have been. There's been people close to the company that, that, that have said that they are, like, they, they are, they know about the situation and they know that they, like, could have done better. I don't know how legit that is and stuff. But sources that have worked close to Pokemon Company have said that. Uh, and it says, announcing more involvement in the balance of all of their competitive games for a fairer, more streamlined experience. Uh, I don't really know how else they could make it more fairer like the competitive scene you know it, the only thing that's obviously unfair and stuff is the rng but you know that can happen for everyone it can go against everyone it can go for you it's just one of those things you use a move that doesn't have 100 accuracy you have to understand the fact that you can miss that move obviously like par paralysis and stuff like that that's another thing that can happen you know it's just one of those things you know burns off scold etc it, it, it's all rng it's just all pokemon i don't really know how they'd make it fairer uh, it says hinting experienced competitive professionals to play test. So maybe they'd like be another form of competitiveness or something like that. Uh, 2010, uh, 2026 return of the Oceana International Championships. So online EU, LA, NA, and OC region national championships using the same qualifiers as in person TPC circuit nationals. And then play nationals uh, culminate uh, into Trainers Cup top of 32 each. So they're actually going into the actual competitive kind of side of things. And and again, I maybe this person is very knowledgeable about this thing. Maybe they, they've done a lot of research and stuff. But, you know, so far it sounds relatively legit in my personal opinion. Uh, anyway, moving on though, we do have this paste bin to go over. This is the same thing that was posted. It is the, uh, the, the paste bin here at the, the very bottom here where it says reveals. So like I say, this is the same kind of person that's posted this is, is obviously the image and everything like that. So it says all TCG news. So Pokemon trading card game classic uh, gold silver edition. Uh, I'm assuming that is uh, Screamtail and Celebi EX, Iron Bundle and Petron EX decks. Uh, released 2025, premieres of 12 new cards, including the GS Ball. $300 US, the new uh, new legal cards used to justify the high cost. Stylized after the standard Generation 2 cards and Generation 3 EX cards. So, 
yeah, that I guess would be a celebration of the 25th anniversary of Johto, which is this year, which was, which is why we're kind of expecting something Johto. Just it's the 25th, it's the silver anniversary of gold and silver. Like for us to get nothing related to gold and silver would be wild. I still thought they might do something like the 151 set that we got for Kanto for Johto, and it's like a 10, like a 100 set or something like that. Don't know if they're going to do that. There hasn't been data mined or leaked or anything like that, so it's very, very unlikely. But either way, that's uh, that. Moving on, we have the Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. So need to collect duplicates to be able to uh, to stack for multiples. Brings back certain old prints, such as energies for variety. Ranked matches are best of one with timer rules adjusted. Uh, the simulator has effects for rarer cards played, dragging time. So uh, that's a little bit like Master Duel with Yu-Gi-Oh! Where if you play like a Dark Magician or something, then it'll obviously play an animation and stuff. Uh, there's codes from purchase sets can be redeemed for real ones. Uh, and then competitors can pay to buy decks directly for their events. And then official online tournaments to be held starting in January. Pre-release early November with events at stores lined up. So, yeah, I mean, I think this is something that they probably will bring at Worlds, um, like, going forward. Obviously, TCG is already at Worlds, but I think it's just another a way to incorporate. Obviously, Unite, um, Pokemon Go, things like that are all getting inc incorporated into, like, competitive scenes and stuff in Pokemon Worlds. And I could very well see that happening for TCG Pocket as well. Uh, we have Pokemon TCG Scarlet and Violet Azure Cross and Crimson Talon sets teased. So teases Mega Pokemon EX, different to uh, Mega Pokemon EX. Uh, teases return of newly ruled Fairy type and Dual types. Stage M Mega Charizard EX HP Colorless Fire, um, and then also Basic Xerneas EX Hate Light. This is some interesting stuff, man. This is this isn't a normal room you'd go over. Like they've they've really gone into detail about everything. Uh, an ancient traits rumored to return in a set following these. Released late 2025, early 2026 in a unified name elsewhere. Foreshadows important changes in Legend ZA, so meant to confuse both TCG and VGC players uh, viewing reveal. So, Foreshadows important balance changes in Legend ZA. I don't know how they would do that. I mean, there's probably not going to be a competitive scene in ZA, so I don't really know why they would have to balance anything. Uh, all mainline news, so Pokemon Scarlet and Violet events, so mention of the chess form Gimme Ghoul Terror Raid battles, so yeah, obviously we already know that Gimme Ghoul is going to be happening around Worlds, um, and then they kind of just go over that again, and will be data mined by them, but shiny odds will be raised, so originally it was like a 1 in 4,100 um, to try and find a shiny Gimme Ghoul, we had like two weeks to do it, I think it was mathematically impossible to do that many raids in that amount of time, even if you'd raided every single second of every single day which is why it's stupid because if you raided every single minute of the day you, you still can't do all the raids to hit odds and obviously you're not even guaranteed a shiny in odds either so doing that i think was just stupid it was just stupid from pokemon it just was like it just wasn't smart so if they're going to do it again which obviously they are doing it again the, the odds need to be raised they, whether it's one in a hundred one in 500 or whatever um if you're making a timed event you can't make it full odds. You just, like, the whole premise of doing the Gimmigal Raid is to get the shiny, but you've made it, you know, not impossible, but you've made it very, very difficult to do. And like I say, if you're unlucky, you're not going to be able to get it. It's just, yeah, it's really dumb in my opinion. Uh, mention of boosted shiny pumped up mark uh, outbreaks. Obviously, that's also, you know, been revealed and stuff. Uh, distribution of Henry Rich's top eight NIC, uh, NIC 2024 Volcarona. So, obviously, that's the Volcarona scene here. So, like I say, if this Volcarona gets a mystery gift, you know, over the next week or so, like I say, this sounds very, very legit. Uh, Pokemon Legends ZA all August news. Huge info dump. So, the starter is going to be revealed. They're going to be Sprigatito, Tepic, and Piplup. Um, I cannot see us getting back-to-back -back Sprigatito starters. I, you know, we just had it in Generation 9. I cannot see us getting it in Legends EA as well. It just doesn't make any sense. Uh, exploring takes place in the Hollow Earth Lumios Catacombs. There's going to be six distinct areas associated with each of six Lumios plazas. So you're going to get Ultra Beasts. So Zygarde plays a massive role in the main story. Uh, Colossian Wisma, Noivern Evolution, and types are not going to be revealed for those two. SOS calling may bring surrounding Pokemon into battle. That would be kind of cool. So if you're like in a battle with a Pokemon and SOSs and then it like another Pokemon rocks up. So obviously you can do like 2v1 battles and stuff in this game. Uh, confirmation of player versus player battling compatibility. So obviously Ridliku has already come out and said that there's not going to be VGC and stuff in this game. Again, his, his track record has been very shaky recently, so he could be wrong. But this person is saying you are going to be able to battle. Confirmation of abilities, held items, and double formats. So obviously that's a big change from Legends Arceus. Freeze replaced by Frostbite. Sleep replaced by Drowsy. So obviously just like we had in Legends Arceus. 
balance changes including retyping Pokemon uh, and patches. So specifically transitional format patches will be a main story. Oblivion Wing shown hitting Xerneas super effectively, followed by Xerneas retaliating with Moonblast on Yveltal. There's a montage of historical Generation 6 and 7 VGC formats, leading to Mega Toxtricity X and Mega Toxtricity Y being shown. X, Y, Mega Charizard X and Ultra Ultra Moon Mega Charizard Y. I don't know what that means. Uh, and then it says, New Legends uh, ZA Mega Charizard T's not fully shown. And there's going to be a title card which cements a specified Summer 2025 release date. So... That, there's a lot to kind of break down from that, but, you know, at, at the end of the day, uh, Sprigatito, I just can't see that being the starter. Um, the SOS kind of incorporated into the game would be cool. You know, battling would be cool. I, I'd love to see, you know, these ability held items, double formats and stuff. But all this, like, you know, Mega Charizard ZA, you know, Mega Charizard Y and X from different games, you know, I, I just don't think it sounds very legit. And then a new noise type is heavily hinted towards. It would explain suddenly retyping existing Pokemon, uh, including for balance, would be paired in with uh, colorless in the trading card game. So, yeah, I mean, a noise type. Do we really need a new typing? I feel like it is balanced at the moment. Obviously, there's certain typings that aren't great. You know, you got your ice and, you know, bug as well, stuff like that. Just isn't really the greatest typings out there. But I don't think like a noise type or a sound type being introduced would, would really rectify that. Obviously, if we are going to get a new typing, it, it does sound like noise or sound would be the way they go. You know, there's already sound-based moves, sound-based abilities, there's sound-based features, like sound-based moves going through um, substitutes, stuff like that. So it, it does kind of make sense for us to get a sound typing because I've already got all these things going for them, but I just don't think it's going to be a thing that happens. And then other competitive game news, so Pokemon Unite, so Arm Rouge, early September shown off, again, has been data mined, so... Yeah, this person, like say, either done their research or, you know, they know what they're talking about. Unique Cleavor license teased. Uh, branched Rockruff teased. Chosen moves determine the form. So that would be really cool to see. Unlimited run Pokemon World Championship tie-in event. And then Pokemon Tournament 2 teased. Releases sometime in 2026. Um, I can't see them announcing a game for 2026 this early. You know, like two years in advance. I just don't think that's going to happen. Especially because it would be for the Switch 2 as well. Uh, just like Rock Meowskarada, Tinkerton, Fighter Renders, Highlights, Mystery, Carnival, Blue Dome, Warm, uh, an Unnamed Stage. Pokemon Go will release Shiny Roaming Form, Gimme Ghoul. And the miscellaneous news, uh, Pokemon Caf uh, Cafe Remix, Pokemon Masters EX, Pokemon Sleep, announced various event timelines spamming through 2024. And then animated Pokemon movie teased during the closing ceremony, so centers around the tale of Ogapon and the Laurel 3. So, yeah, I mean, it, st it started off well. I think the ZA stuff really kind of made it sound a lot less legit. Obviously, we wait for the Volcarona. This would be announced very, very soon, I think, if it was going to be kind of coming out in, on August the 15th. So we'll wait and see if that gets announced. If it does, then, okay, we'll revisit it. Um, but from what I can see, it doesn't really sound very legit. But let me know your thoughts on the rumor, though, and then also let me know your thoughts on uh, all the world stuff that we covered in today's video as well. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on all this, because like I said, there's a lot to unpack today. So uh, yeah, some exciting stuff, some stuff not so much. But thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, please do drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Uh, obviously, leave a comment with your thoughts. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. Have a great rest of your day, and until next time, peace.